We are gonna solve this problem from AMC 12 2001. Before solving the problem, thanks for the like, subscribing, and turning on notification. So let's start. A, B, C, D are positive integers. The, the product is 8 factorial. 8 factorial is what? Equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. By the definition of 8 factorial, a, b plus a plus b equal to 5 to 4, b, c plus b plus c equal to 1, 4, 6, c, d plus c plus c equal to 1, 0, 4, a minus d is 1. So when we see this form, it is a famous factorization. You should say, you should add by 1 here, a, b plus a plus b plus 1 equal to, so plus 1, we add 1 to both sides, 5 to 4 plus 1, 5 to 5. So the famous factorization, you can write left hand side as a plus 1 times b plus 1. Then we have a, b, a, b, and 1, all these four terms equal to 5 to 5. This is so much useful also in BMO British Mathematical Olympiad. These factorization and there are some ideas that are useful from qualifying level up to IMO in geometry, combinatorics, number theory, and algebra. If you want to learn them, around 50 important ideas in each topic. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. So here again, if we do the same thing, BC plus B plus C plus 1 equal to 146 plus 1147. So we can say B plus 1 times C plus 1 equal to 1, 4, 7. If we do the same thing for third equation, CD plus C plus D plus 1 equal to 1, 0, 4 plus 1, 1, 0, 5. Then we can say C plus 1 times D plus 1 equal to 1, 0, 5. If you write these three equations again, we try to prime factorize these numbers. We can say this number is 5 times 1, 0, 5, and this number is 5 times 5 times 21, so it will be 5 times 5 times 3 times 7. And this number, you can say it is 3 times 4, 27, 49, so it will be 3 times 7 times 7. And this number is what is 5 times 21, like this. 5 times 21 is 5 times 3 times 7. So let's consider this thing. At first, I consider these two equations. Here we have b plus 1. Here we have b plus 1. Here we don't have any 5, but here we have two 5. So if b plus 1 has any 5, so here we have 5, and but here we don't have any 5. So we conclude what? We conclude these two 5s are for a plus 1, 5 times 5. And again, if we consider this c plus 1, this c plus 1 here, we have 5. But here we don't have any 5. Here we don't have any 5, so c plus 1 can't be a multiple of 5. So this 5 will be 4d. So we have 5 times something. Again, okay. here we have two 7s. Here we have one 7. So common factor is b plus 1, b plus 1. If deep this b plus 1 have all these two 7s, then here we should have all these two 7s, but here we have only one 7. So B plus 1 have at, has at most 1, 7. So here, at most 1, 7 or 0, 7. So at least one of these 7s should be a factor of C plus 1. Because if C plus 1 is not multiple of 7, then B plus 1 is multiple of 7 times 7 or 49. And here we have contradiction. And because this C plus 1 is this, you write this 7 here. So if you focus on third equation, 5, 7 here, it's okay, it's okay. Only 1, 3 is left. So we consider two cases. This 3 is for C plus 1 or for D plus 1. So case 1, let me write all of them. A plus 1, B plus 1, C plus 1, D plus 1. So in case 1, this 3 is for C plus 1. And so in case 1, it's for C plus 1. In case 2, it's for d plus 1. So if in case 1, this 3 is for c plus 1, so I can say c plus 1 is 7 times 3. So when this is 7 times 3, so d plus 1 will be 5. 
So C plus 1 is 7 times 3. So if I write, let me write with red. If it is 7 times 3, then it will be this one, this one. Okay, B will be 7. B plus 1, 7. So if I write this 7 here, A will be 5 times 5 times 3. 5 times 5 times 3. It was case 1. In case 2, we said this 3 is for D plus 1. I write with pink. So D will be 5 times 3. And C plus 1, 5, 3 will be for D plus 1. 7 only will be for C plus 1. So it will be 7. Now here it will be only 7. So B plus 1 is 3 times 7. So it is 3 times 7. And because it is 3 times 7, so a plus 1, by considering this, will be only 5 times 5. So we have these two cases. Now we want to calculate a, b, c, d, or what in each case. So the first case, 5 times 5, 25 times 3, 75. So if I write like this, a plus 1 is 75. So a is what? 74. b plus 1, 7, is 6. c plus 1, 21. 21 minus 1, 20. Look, you say C plus 1, 3 times 7, 21. You subtract 1 from both sides, it will be 20 like this. D plus 1, 5, so D is 4. In this case, A plus 1 is 25, 5 times 5, case 2, so it will be 24. 3 times 7, 21, so B will be 20. C plus 1, 7, so C is 6. C plus 1 is 15. D plus 1 is 15, so D is 14. From the assumption of the problem, we know A, B, C, D is 8 factorial. In case 1, it is 74. 74 is 2 times 37. So A, if A has 37, A has 37. So here we don't want to 8 factorial, 1 to 8 product of them. We don't have 37. So this case is bad. Let's check case. So if you check, you will see it is correct. We can check. Is it A, B, C, D? A is what? 24 times 20 times 6 times 14. If you want to check 14, cancel with 7 and 2. 24 with 3 and 8. 20 with 5 and 4. Both sides are 6. So it is correct. Case 2 is this. The problem says A minus D equal to what? A equal to 24. D equal to 14. 24 minus 14, 10. So the answer is... 10, as I said before, there are around 40 important formulas and ideas in each topic that are useful from basic level, round 1, up to IMO, International Mathematical Olympiad. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Thanks for the likes, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can use my other playlists, the problems of American Mathematical Olympiad, the problems of BMO, British Mathematical Olympiad, to improve your problem solving thanks for watching this video